Hello, uh, welcome back. I'm just going to go through photograph cards now. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with photographs, believe it or not. Um, in each tip of the tongue box, um, there's photograph cards. So in the junior tip of the tongue box, there's 50 cards. And the middle, there's 100 cards. And in the senior box, there's also 100 cards. Now the cards, uh, photographs cover a variety of um, different type of pictures from people to activities, even to some situations that um, be reflective of um, weather or what's going on in society um, with um, poor children in Africa and um, accidents and different things like that. So you can uh, relate them then to other areas of the curriculum. Um, so with the barrier cards, there's different activities you can do. Uh, again, I'm just going through a few just to get you started. So the first one um, is called giveaway. I'm just taking my card. So for example, this is your card. Um, they're individual cards or they're also on a CD-ROM that you can do as a whole class activity or for individuals and pairs and so on, small groups. So the first activity you can do is to give a life. So given a life, the children have to use their imagination and give the people in the photograph identifications. Who are they? What do they do? What jobs they do? What are the children? And what do they like doing their hobbies? hobbies? But what are they doing now? Where have they been? Are they on holidays? Are they going somewhere? Um, for example, this is John and he's a chef and this is his wife Mary and that's her two children. They're on holidays at the minute in Spain. He's making some tortilla wraps and, and so on. So they have to give a life. Uh, it's very important never to give them a cutout from a magazine, especially if it's someone famous like Justin Bieber or that because they will not be able to use their imaginations and give him a life that actually just tell you everything about Justin Bieber. Um, so that's give a life. Another one then is outside the frame. So I'll just use a different example. So we've got a cowboy and a horse. So outside the frame is really you're saying, okay, what do you think is happening out here? And the children can discuss it. Okay, is there other horses? Um, maybe more cowboys. You know what? Maybe he is a herder. Maybe he's um, working with cows. Okay, or buffalo or something like that. Um, he's got a lasso. And what type of things would you do with this lasso? And you talk about him where do you think he lives okay there's snow in the background there's bare trees what time of the year so there's a lot of things you can discuss there and that's using the game of outside the frame another one then is the before and after and um, there's an example i'm giving to you of real life situations that you might use with the children okay so what do you think happened before this picture was taken and um, what do you think um happened afterwards again the before and after could be weeks in advance okay maybe weeks in advance they were living somewhere else and they didn't have a home and so on and then now that they do and so on so again that's before and after um even going back to the an ordinary photograph before and after maybe the cows are going to break loose okay so the children can go crazy sometimes with ideas it can be quite exciting when you hear the different stories that they can come up with and then if you're doing it as a whole class and you have the picture on the board and each group is talking about the same pictures but in their individual groups it can be quite interesting afterwards for them a reporter maybe in each group to stand up and give their report on what they thought it was because you can see the the varieties and and the different group work and the different opinions uh, another one then that you can do is the picture revelation okay um so again i'm just going to use that picture um if you had a visual um visualizer you could put little scraps of paper over the top, maybe little six different coloured ones, or just number them one, two, three, four, five, six. And bit by bit, that you could, children are going to ask you, okay, we move number two, you take it off, and they would discuss, just say it was number two section, what did they see, what could it possibly be, and then maybe we move number six, just say it was over here, okay, well, we see jeans, it looks maybe like the handles of something, maybe it is a um, wheelbar and so on. So bit by bit, the picture has been revealed and the pupils have to use their opinions to decide what they think is going on in the picture. Okay. So again, that's just a few basic ideas that you can do with the photograph cards. Um, the photograph cards, I think, in the new language curriculum fit in very well with the element of exploring and using. They fit into the learning outcomes of number 12, number 13 and number 14. Number 12 is your playful and creative use of language. Number 13 is information giving, explaining and then justifying why you come up with that opinion. And then 14 is description, prediction and then reflection afterwards. So again, hopefully that was of some use to you and I hope you enjoy working with photographs.